I'm sitting here in an off-the-shoulder couture gown listening to Earl Thomas Conley. That could just mean one thing. The Grundy Senior High School prom. It's prom night, folks, and the uh, guidance counselor up at your school, Miss Amy, she asked me to make a video to all of you students who are attending the prom tonight at the Brakes Rhododendron Lodge. Honey, back in my day, we had the uh, prom up there in the gym, but I know that you've got some coach up there. It's Hayfield. I want you to walk on that floor, so they got to drive y'all all the way across that mountain. Pick up all that restaurant stuff at the rhododendrons. Y'all can come over there and dance around and act like you're bougie and going somewhere different besides the schoolhouse. But if I was at Leslie Boyd, I'd say, you didn't forget about this gym floor. We're not sending them kids across that hill. But that's not for me to decide. I don't have any children in the school. But I do have my beautiful Kate Spade Couture blanket slash gown on. And I've got my hair all fixed up, even with fancy flyaways. You know how people do when they're on the red carpet. But I guess it's blue and gold carpet since it's for you golden waves tonight. Lord, sing it, Earl. God, that's good. Ooh, listen to that. But listen, I got some rules for you kids going. Now, here's the seriousness. Now, listen to me. Listen to Mrs. Rivers. If your boyfriend has a truck that is jacked up larger than it should be, larger than is legal, that voids warranties from Ford Motor Company, Dodge Motor Company, or from the Chevrolet people, girl, you will ruin your dress getting in and out of that. So go ahead and ask your daddy, can you take his car? Or ask your mother, can you take hers? Something that's a little more believable and not so high up. Also, do not get in the back of that truck with him. If people cannot see you in that truck, they don't know what you're doing in the back of that truck. And you sure don't need that kind of reputation, honey. You might ruin your ability to go to Wise College, honey. You might lose a scholarship or something. You sure don't need that because I've seen some other kids from Grundy graduating today. Congratulations to y'all that graduated. Anyways, I digress. Also, do not get in a car and speed across that mountain. That mountain going to that brakes is tough. It is long and it swings and it swings back and forth. I and mean, some of y'all live over there and know how to ride that, but the rest of you don't. Speaking of riding things, you come home in the... That's not what I meant. Y'all come home in the car that you came in. Don't get in the car with nobody else and don't go to no after parties that are crazy. Don't have no tar fars. And if you do have a tar far, make sure that it's at a reputable location and that you wear jeans and you do not ruin your dress because you will want to sell it next year. So make sure, listen, I know Brianna and some of y'all did some makeup, made some beautiful, beautiful faces out of people, but make sure that you take some stuff and get it touched up and make it even prettier all night long. Have a wonderful time, but don't act foolish. Don't do nothing to get you pregnant. Don't do nothing to get you arrested. Don't do nothing that embarrasses your mother. It is Mother's Day weekend. Other than that, y'all have a wonderful prom.